Hello and welcome to this quick review of Camtasia 2021. I use Camtasia for all of my screen recordings and it's a great piece of software and now 2021 has come out. So I'm using Camtasia 2020 to record and make this video because I'm on a trial version of 2021. So I'm going to go over what I think are some good features and my initial thoughts of it. Now audio effects, we have this emphasize and essentially this is like ducking. So we can add this to the timeline and what it will do where you've got music and you've got voiceover, it will emphasize the voiceover or you can use it to emphasize the voiceover. So we're going to have a look at that now. So down the bottom here, I've got um, a music track and here I've got a track that contains speech. It's not going to be an excellent comparison because I think this track that contains speech has um, some background music itself. So this is one of my channel trailers. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to audio effects and I'm going to play it and then I'm going to add emphasize. Welcome to the Big G Photo YouTube channel. I make videos about photography, videography and editing software. That's a bit of a mess. So I could fix this normally by just changing the volume but what I'm going to do I'm going to add emphasize to this one so here we've got emphasize down here we can change the ramp position I don't really know what that means in all honesty but I'm just going to see if this does what I want welcome to the big g photo youtube channel I make videos about photography videography and editing software have you heard of the exposure so you can tell immediately that that has lowered this background volume down here you can tell there's also music um, within this clip anyway but i'm just going to play it and then turn it off so that you can see triangle the exposure triangle covers three factors that will affect photographic yeah that's much better that effectively does ducking for me you'll notice i use this you can very easily toggle things on and off before you had to remove them but now you can toggle them or toggle your effects on and off that's really good in terms of visual effects we have motion blur which i think is going to be useful we have rounded corners and i'm going to apply this corner rounding to here and i'm just going to round that corner in i think that's that's very useful and I'm also going to apply it to this track down here. Yeah, that's that's a really useful feature. And we've got media mat. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make this a lot bigger and I'm going to pull in media mat and I'm going to apply it here. So now media mat comes in and we can change our modes and I've got it on alpha and I'm just going to go through alpha invert, lumosity, and luminosity invert so what we can do is we can actually make things we can actually make things transparent so I can make this text transparent so that we can see the background so if I go into here and I make the text a lot bigger let's make this like that like so bring this down here and if I go in here and I make the fill black so i can do all sorts of really good effects here yeah i can see that being really useful to people what i've done in media is this clip here is just one of my 4k clips it's a 4k 25 frames per second clip i think it's 100 megabits now if i play it it does play in camtasia but it's going to be ever so slightly stuttery So that's dropping frames all over the place. But what I can do, see it's still catching up, is I can right click here and I can create a proxy of it. So it creates it within the software. I actually filmed this on my ZV-1 and that actually makes its own proxies. So I can't link the proxies by the look of it if I have proxies from the camera and 4K from the camera, but I can make proxies in this piece of software. And I think that's gonna be really big for Camtasia because one of the problems with Camtasia is it's great for screen recordings but it hasn't traditionally been very good for mixing in other footage types it, it's often stuttered and it's hard to edit sort of mp4 recording on cameras but if I go now and I play this it 
we can see that that plays back no problems and when it goes and it's rendered it will render at 4k and the 4k file will be used so I'm going to go to export and I'm going to go to size and I can go up to 4K by the looks of it, which is great. So I'm not gonna export this at 4K, I'm gonna cancel it, but it looks like I can edit 4K footage in here if I use proxy files and export it at 4K, but I'm not gonna go any further into that today. So if we scroll down here, we look at media, library, not much has changed, favorites, not much has changed, nothing has changed in annotations that I can see. As soon as we get to transitions, there's a lot more transitions, wave, TV transmission, tiles, square drops, spin zoom, there's loads more transitions. So you get a lot more transitions. I don't know whether you're going to be bothered about that, but certainly you do get a lot more. Behaviors look pretty much the same. Animations, I'm told this has changed, but I'm not going to dip into this today. Cursor effects are the same. Voice narration is the same. So I hope you found this quick overview of Camtasia 2021 useful. I'm going to be playing with it a little bit more. And if I like it, I'm going to upgrade. Thank you. Goodbye.